The story revolves around the main character named Lin Xu, who is 21 years old. He is a top global unemployed individual. Therefore, he is currently searching for job vacancies on the internet. Suddenly, a pop-up advertisement appears. Something inexplicable happens. Suddenly, his monitor forms a black hole that sucks him in. Lin Xu wonders what is happening right now. Then the system informs him that the divine leveling system is ready to serve sincerely. It turns out that Lin Xu has been reincarnated into a completely different world on a new Earth. This is because extraterrestrial creatures attacked Earth. Earth was forced to use nuclear weapons to destroy them. However, the X virus left by the extraterrestrial beings spread all over the Earth. This caused Earth to mutate. Zombies and other mythical creatures eventually emerged on the surface of the Earth. Not only that, lucky humans also underwent evolution. They developed their martial arts skills and cultivated themselves. Since then, the world has become a place where martial artists are highly respected worldwide. Now, at the Shining Stars Academy, Lin Xu, who is still jet-lagged after being reincarnated, finds out that he is transferred into the body of a student with the same name as him. He is approached by a bully named Ma Chang, who is his roommate from the previous body's owner. He is angry because Lin Xu, who was asked to bring him food, is still sleeping. Lin Xu can be said to have entered the body of a trash. He has no cultivation talent at all. Ma Chang threw him against the wall. Not satisfied with that, he continued to vent his anger. Ma Chiang stomped on Lin Xu's hand. Feeling the pain, Lin Xu slowly woke up from his sleep. What is happening now? He just woke up, but suddenly there is a stranger who is beating him. Just as he was about to stand up, Lin Xu was beaten again. He can't believe that he is reincarnated now. What a miserable fate to be reincarnated into the body of a trash. Now the memories of this body are starting to become clear. It turns out that the previous owner of the body was always bullied by other students. He was also belittled by teachers and considered trash by society. Because of his chaotic life, it's no wonder the previous owner had no desire to live. He said earlier that he would receive a system that would serve him. So where is the system now? Just as the system was mentioned, it immediately appeared. The system informed Lin Xiu that his anger was now fully charged. Do you want to use charge strike? Since Ma Chiang is currently raging, a collision between their punches is inevitable, and Ma Chiang's bones shattered. Now Ma Chiang's friends are very surprised when they see what happened to him. They wonder what happened. It only took one punch, and Ma Chiang immediately fainted. Now because of that, Ma Chiang's gang is running away in fear. But even though Lin Xiu won, he received too many injuries, especially with the side effects of the previous skill. Now the system appears again. Because Lin Xu successfully defeated the enemy using charge strike for the first time, he is given a chance to draw. From there, he now receives 10,000 alliance coins. That is very useful for buying something. After that, Lin Xu went to the infirmary. He met a beautiful nurse. Due to Lin Xu often getting injured, when the nurse entered, she immediately took him to the recovery device. The nurse then asked Lin Xu, What kind of recovery fluid does he want? Lin Xu said he wanted a fluid that costs 9,800 alien coins. While waiting for the process, he looked at his body now. He felt that his body was really bad. Maybe this was because he had always been bullied before. Lin Xu was determined that from now on, he would never be beaten again. Then the recovery preparation began. The fluid had now entered the tube. The estimated time required for recovery is around five hours. After some time, now in the homeroom class 29, the homeroom teacher explained that 20 students could enter sector A20 to gain fighting experience. All students who have become beginner martial artists are allowed to participate. And because Ma Chiang was not visible, the homeroom teacher asked, Where did Ma Chiang go? Ma Chiang's friend explained that Ma Chiang was undergoing surgery in Sector C because of fighting against Lin Xiu. The classroom atmosphere immediately became chaotic. Ma Chiang lost to trash. It was really unbelievable. Due to the increasingly noisy classroom atmosphere, the homeroom teacher decided that Ma Chiang would be absent from this training. And suddenly Lin Xiu appeared and said, In that case, can I go instead? 
but due to his track record. The class advised Lin Xu not to be reckless. Sector A-20 is very dangerous. Now seeing trash fighting Xu Jun said that Sector 20 is full of zombies. Does he want to commit suicide by handing his head over to them? Then Lin Xu replied to his words by saying, If that's the case, what about defeating you? Can I join? Upon hearing that, Xu Jun's emotions were clear, and he immediately accepted the duel. Before fighting Xu Jun, he used his analytical eye. After observing, he was only slightly weaker than Ma Chang. If Lin Xu could be careful, he would be the winner. Now, in the arena of the Shining Star Duel Academy, many students were eager to watch. Without further ado, the battle began. Xu Jun launched an attack. Take this, he said. Despite this, Lin Xu now felt tingling. But that was okay. Lin Xu's anger began to build up. He just needed to dodge and withstand Xu Jun's attacks. Once his anger was full, he would know what would happen. His anger continued to grow. Now, seeing Lin Xu just dodging around, the students started mocking him. Meanwhile, from above, the class monitor's students misjudged him. If Lin Xu was just dodging now, but look how calm he was in his fight. Don't dodge, Xu Jun shouted. And now that his anger was at 100%, as requested by Xu Jun, it was Lin Xu's turn to attack. The two of them were now exchanging blows. The punches caused a strong wind to blow, and once again Lin Xu made his opponent stagger. Impossible, you trash. If you lose to trash like me, that means you're worse than trash, he said. The class monitor then asked the other students to take Xu Jun to the infirmary. He gave Lin Xu permission because he had proven his worth. And now he and his friends had arrived at Sector A-20. Sector A-20 is located in the northern part of the city. It is one of the many areas affected by the virus. As a result, the city is filled with zombies and other mutated creatures. However, despite the danger, there are abundant resources here. From the bodies of monsters that can be utilized as equipment for soldiers to the evolved cores found in the monsters' brains, all of them are extremely useful for martial artists. These objects are used for cultivation, strengthening the physical body, and developing power for martial artists. Now, before entering, the class monitor is conducting a briefing. He warns that this is not a regular exercise, and everyone must be able to adapt, as failure to do so could result in death. In the previous year, there were casualties. The 20 students will be divided into five groups, with each group consisting of four individuals. After the long lecture is over, it is now time to explore Sector A-20. Lin Xu is now accompanied by Yang Tian, an unimportant person. As they enter, Zhang Yi tells Lin Xu and Yang Tian not to be a burden to him. Shortly after, Lin Xu notices movement ahead and instructs everyone to stop talking. Now, everyone is prepared to fight. Behind the thick fog, a zombie figure emerged and charged forward. Despite its low status, this zombie had a higher fighting power than Lin Xu. With no reliable companions to rely on, Lin Xu had to muster up her courage. Besides, she needed XP to become stronger. Surprisingly, with just one strike, she was able to defeat the zombie. After killing the zombie, Lin Xu successfully gained 200 XP points. She immediately leveled up to level 2 and acquired 2 skill points. Without hesitation, Lin Xu added them to her strength attribute to become stronger. Feeling happy about leveling up, Lin Xu let her guard down. She shouted a warning that the zombie was ready to attack her. Not wanting to lose, Zhang Yi advised her to step aside. He wanted to slaughter the zombies himself. In no time, this determined individual managed to kill the zombies alone. As soon as she defeated the zombie, Zhang Yi became even more arrogant. He mocked Lin Xu for being scared earlier. Now, Lin Xu was annoyed because her XP was stolen. To avoid further conflict, she decided to continue her exploration. As time passed and they ventured deeper, Lin Xu instructed her companion to stop. However, the unimportant person assumed that only weak zombies like before would appear. Therefore, he was overly confident now. Now is the time for him to act, and it turns out that the one who appears is the leader of the zombies. His combat power is at 580 points. 
Knowing that the enemy is different, Lin Xiu instructs Yang Tian to stay silent for now. But because that unimportant person didn't know, he didn't realize that the zombies were different. He acted recklessly. The zombie leader quickly lunged forward, causing the unimportant person to start panicking. He is now being attacked. Just as the zombie is about to bite him, Zhang Yi comes to his rescue. The zombie leader falls down. Now is the right time for Zhang Yi to finish it off. Here he advises not to rush the attack, or else he will fail to kill it. In one swift move, the zombie leader will call his troops. He is given instructions by the trash Lin Xu. Zhang Yi doesn't want to listen and immediately strikes, and indeed he fails. Because the zombie leader can dodge, Zhang Yi is surprised and didn't expect that the zombie could actually dodge. But it's already too late. As stated by Lin Xu, now the zombie leader begins to call his troops. Now in an instant, the large number of zombie troops are ready to attack them all. Out of fear, he decides to flee. Of course, the unimportant person is also here. Yang Tian suggests to Lin Xu that they should also leave. But Lin Xu clenches his fists now. He seems to refuse to leave. His heart is boiling. This is his golden opportunity. There is a lot of XP right in front of him. Imagine if he manages to slaughter all these zombies. Surely he can level up a lot. That's why Lin Xu chooses to advance now. Lin Xu fiercely strikes down every zombie approaching him. Upon seeing Lin Xu's enthusiasm, Yang Tian wondered if she was the same trash he knew. And now there was a zombie beside her that was ready to attack. Given the circumstances, he had no choice but to join in as well. The two of them fought fiercely against the zombies. And now, the zombie leader lunged at them with its large mouth, wanting to devour them. However, it wasn't that easy as they managed to strike back. And now the system appeared, notifying that Lin Xu had successfully reached level 5. Lin Xu gained 12 skill points. Now, everything was clearly added to her strength. This made Lin Xu's muscles even more robust. Now she tightly embraced the zombie leader until it died. Then she took its sword and decapitated the zombie leader. After that, she and Yang Tian managed to eliminate all the remaining zombies. Now, Lin Xu reached level 6. All six skill points she obtained were distributed evenly between speed and physical attributes, with three points each. Since she reached level 6, she successfully unlocked a new feature. It was called the genetic lock system. Essentially, it was the hidden potential of an individual. According to legend, if someone could unlock their genetic potential, they would become a god. Without hesitation, Lin Xu decided to activate his genetic system. However, it turned out that to activate this feature, he had to reach level 15. But that's okay. Lin Xu remained optimistic. Level 15 was just around the corner, and he was confident he could achieve it soon. Now Yang Tian praised Lin Xu in a completely different way. Even a large number of zombies could be easily slaughtered by him. After that, they continued their hunt. And now, they arrived at the boundary for beginners. There was a sign here stating that beginner martial artists were not allowed to enter. Lin Xu pondered, and suddenly, with a trembling voice, Yang Tian informed Lin Xu that there was a snake. They were truly unlucky. Even before anything happened, they were faced with a terrifying situation. Now, a giant python was ready to devour them. Lin Xiu thought that the system couldn't analyze it. This python must be very strong. The python attacked. Fortunately, Lin Xiu and Yang Tian were able to dodge. Finally, Lin Xiu and Yang Tian ran in opposite directions. But somehow, the python chose to chase after Lin Xiu. Now, Lin Xiu was hiding. It seemed like bad luck or something. Just escaped from the python, Lin Xu was now confronted by evil adventurers. Currently, Lin Xu was being threatened. He was about to be robbed. One of the adventurers took Lin Xiu's sword. Then, he prepared to strike. Wait and see, he said, if they were all in danger now. The python had opened its mouth wide and was ready to devour its prey. The person who took the sword was instantly eaten. His whole body swallowed whole. Now the adventurers are preparing for a raid, observing those foolish people fighting. In his heart, Lin Xu murmured that these people are only first-class martial artists. They want to fight against a python. 
which is a third-class martial artist. Even if they succeed, they will definitely suffer a lot of losses. That's why Lin Xu is now keeping a safe distance. When they all become chaotic, he can easily retrieve his sword. And true enough, everything goes according to Lin Xu's expectations. One by one, the adventurers are defeated. But even so, they manage to defeat the python in the end. Now, because they know that Lin Xu is the one who brought the python here, the leader of the adventurers orders him to help skin it, or else he will kill Lin Xu. He will help skin it, because everything will become his possession. Upon hearing Lin Xu's challenge, the adventurers' emotions were stirred. Lin Xu was so audacious, how dare he? Die! he said as he immediately attacked Lin Xu. However, Lin Xu casually avoided the strikes. Lin Xu was now confident. Everything was going as he had imagined. This person must have very little strength left. The person cursed, angry at Lin Xiu. He said, Damn it! Kill me if you dare, I come from the Jiang family. But Lin Xu didn't care, and he struck him down. Now Lin Xu successfully gained 2500 XP. Lin Xu leveled up to level 7. Not only that, Lin Xu also got the chance to draw the lottery once again even though he almost died earlier. But it was worth it for the prize. But before drawing the lottery, Lin Xu wanted to loot first, because there were many spoils that he needed to sort out. He was amazed. This was the first time he had seen an evolved crystal up close. Not to mention from the adventurers earlier, Lin Xu also got two more cores. After finishing all his business, Lin Xu now intended to return to the starting point, but ended up getting lost. Lin Xu now ventured deeper and was now in front of a dangerous zone. Lin Xu couldn't stay long. It was too dangerous for him here. And suddenly Lin Xu heard a loud noise, which turned out to be the roar of a level 4 leopard monster. Lin Xu soon saw a beautiful and strong girl who faced the leopard calmly. Slowly but surely, Luo Yue mastered the fight with the leopard. The leopard was overwhelmed by Luo Yue. Seeing this, Lin Xu was confident that she would eventually become stronger than Luo Yue. Suddenly, the helpless leopard unleashed its ultimate skill. Unluckily for Luo Yue, she was hit by a powerful explosion. She was thrown and fell into the abyss. Lin Xu was surprised to see the dying leopard unleash its full skill. However, this was a golden opportunity for Lin Xu. Therefore, she slowly approached the leopard. But when Lin Xu was about to kill the leopard, she realized there was another leopard behind her. Leopards are known to hunt in pairs. It was better for Lin Xu to run away because she knew she wasn't strong enough to fight the leopard. Lin Xu found herself at the edge of the cliff. With no other choice, she had to jump. Fortunately, there was water below so he could survive. Moreover, now near him, Lin Xu found Luo Yue, who was also still unconscious. Therefore, Lin Xu took her to the shore. How could there be a girl as beautiful as this? Lin Xu murmured in his heart. Upon closer inspection, Luo Yue seemed to be around 17, 18 years old. But at that age, Luo Yue was already at the fourth rank of martial artists. She must come from a prominent family. Then time passed. Now, after fishing, Lin Xu cooked the fish he caught. While enjoying his meal, Suddenly, Lin Xu was threatened with a sword by Luo Yue, who had regained consciousness. What are you doing, crazy girl? Lin Xu shouted. It was understandable that there was a man in front of her who was not wearing a shirt when Luo Yue had just woken up from her faint. Slowly, Lin Xu tried to explain that he was just saving her. Then Lin Xu offered his grilled fish to Luo Yue. Surely Luo Yue was hungry after waking up from her faint. Since Luo Yue refused to eat the fish, Lin Xu suggested that she should eat. There is no medicine here to heal wounds, therefore now they sat around the same fire. After getting to know each other, Luo Yue explained that she didn't like owing favors to others. If Lin Xu wanted something from her, he should just say it. After that, there would be no debts between them. At night, Lin Xu begged for a good reward but it seemed he would only get 10,000 alliance coins again. While Lin Xu was getting angry at the system, it turned out that the needle stopped at the jackpot. He got the thousand birds. But then Lin Xu's expression changed again. 
after finding out that his skill was only at the platinum level, the lowest level. There are several levels of skill, starting from the lowest platinum to the highest diamond. But after reading, it turns out that this skill is a growth type skill. Lin Xu is happy again, and she thanks the system now. Then, because she already has this skill, Lin Xu decides to just buy a spear to support her skill. Therefore, all night, Lin Xu laughed happily, seeing the person next to her acting like a crazy person. What are you laughing at? Luo Yue asked. But not long after, Luo Yue heard something approaching them. Lin Xu also agreed that there were some people near them. Lin Xu decided to take the risk and escape with Luo Yue now. Since Luo Yue was just a burden now, Lin Xu had to carry her whether he liked it or not. Quickly, Lin Xu ran away, and it turned out to be the right decision. Luckily, they managed to escape quickly earlier. Now, a group of adventurers approached the remains of the campfire left by Lin Xu. During their escape, Lin Xu and Luo Yue unexpectedly encountered a level 2 red-winged serpent. With a combat power of only 670, this serpent was no match for Lin Xu. As Lin Xu held his sword, he realized how heavy it was. Now it was time to fight the winged serpent. The serpent began to move. Its movements were so fast that Lin Xu found it difficult to predict, especially now that it was very dark. Fortunately, from a distance, Luo Yue gave instructions for Lin Xu to strike to the left. As the serpent advanced following Luo Yue's instructions, Lin Xu spun around to avoid the attack. Then, the sword pierced the serpent's head. He was able to defeat the serpent, even though Luo Yue had mentioned that it was very weak. She commented that Lin Xu's talent was indeed very poor. Lin Xu vented his frustration by allowing the serpent to bite his hand. And as he requested, the serpent's head detached from its body. It bit Lin Xu's hand. He had been careless. He should have checked the system notification first to make sure if the serpent was alive or not. Annoyed, Lin Xu smashed the serpent's head. Now the system notification appears because Lin Xu successfully defeated the winged snake behind Lin Xu now. And suddenly Lin Xu now feels his whole body getting hot. In addition, he also feels itchy. Here Luo Yue knows that the effect of the winged snake can be like an aphrodisiac. What now? Lin Xu loses control over his desires. When Lin Xu smells it, he immediately bites it. This way Lin Xu becomes aware again now. Luo Yue then tells Lin Xu to clean himself immediately. Lin Xu immediately goes there to take a shower. Lin Xu feels like hitting the jackpot. He still can't believe that someone like him could get a kiss from someone as beautiful as Luo Yue. Unbeknownst to Luo Yue, who is alone now, she is being targeted by adventurers who are hunting her. The girl had to face a gang of bandits. It turned out that they had been watching Luo Yue since she fought the leopard. With her injured body, she moved forward. But now she was helpless, and the hero arrived. With confidence, Lin Xu began to uncover information about the bandits' identities. Naturally, they were all surprised. How could an ordinary person like Lin Xu have information about them? Could it be that Lin Xu was an extraordinary person? Zhang Liang was also shocked. I'll give you five seconds to leave or you will die, Lin Xu said. Thinking that Lin Xu was dangerous, they fled. Luo Yue asked how Lin Xu knew the information about them. But it was impossible for Lin Xu to say that she had a system. It would be better if she came up with another excuse. The most important thing was for them to leave this place first. Meanwhile, Zhang Liang and his men just realized that they had been tricked. If Lin Xu was extraordinary, why did she run away earlier? That's why they were angry. So they wanted to chase after them again. But now, they were far from the outer area. However, Lin Xu already knew that the bandits were planning to intercept them in the outer area. That's why she led Luo Yue into a restricted area. It was very dangerous here. They definitely wouldn't go there. And by doing so, they could spend their night calmly. The next morning, Lin Xu was surprised to realize that Luo Yue had fallen asleep leaning on her. Shortly after Luo Yue woke up, she felt a monster approaching. Lin Xu approached the monster. It would be good to use that monster for Lin Xu's training. Now Lin Xu has to face a level two wild boar. Thanks to Luo Yue's guidance, 
Lin Xu was able to easily deal with the wild boar earlier on the second day. In total, Lin Xu has already slaughtered 30 monsters near here. Lin Xu has now leveled up. What's even more impressive is that he is now healthy. Luo Yue wants to leave. Clearly, Lin Xu forbids him. Surely the bandits are still waiting for them outside. But he no longer cares and doesn't want to leave either. Lin Xu intends to find the other leopard. He wants revenge. Before leaving, Luo Yue said that if Lin Xu is not much stronger when they meet again, he will teach him a lesson. And so, they parted ways. Lin Xu finally emerged from the restricted sector. Those who were after him had already left. It had been two days. However, suddenly there was an attack aimed at Lin Xu. Luckily, Lin Xu was able to easily dodge it. Then he counterattacked. Who are you? He said. And it was one of the bandits from yesterday. Initially, they were going to leave, but this person happened to encounter Lin Xu. Although confused because Luo Yue was not there, the bandit felt the need to eliminate Lin Xu first. He advanced. He knew that if he didn't take out this person immediately, he would be in trouble, because surely other bandits would come later to attack Lin Xu. Lin Xu fought back with all his might. He was not pushed back now. Damn, if only I had a spear, he muttered. Now Lin Xu's anger level was at 90%. And now, because the bandit attacked Lin Xu again, Lin Xu's anger reached 100%. He immediately used the future destroyer kick technique. Initially, the bandit was calm because he thought he could withstand the kick. But he didn't know that Lin Xu's attack could shatter his bones. Now he was kneeling in front of Lin Xu. And now Lin Xu just had to choose to gain XP again for successfully killing the bandit. Now he leveled up, and as a result, he gained a new skill. It was an active skill. When Lin Xu used it, his strength, physique, and speed could increase several times over in a span of ten minutes. But there were side effects, too. After the duration ended, Lin Xu would be in a state of extreme fatigue for five minutes. Not long after, Lin Xu was startled by the voice of someone calling the name of the bandit he had killed. Now they had all gathered and said, how dare you kill my friend, you brat? Lin Xu found himself in an unfavorable situation. He had to fight against four people at once. With anger, he ordered all his companions to kill Lin Xu. Faced with the combined attack, Lin Xu had no other choice. He had to use his new skill. Rage activated. An energy explosion now surged around Lin Xu. He felt his whole body filled with power. Unfortunately, its duration was only ten minutes and the cooldown was five minutes. Therefore, with his incredible speed, Lin Xu chose to flee. While hiding, he saw a bandit member carrying a spear. Lin Xu emerged from above, and in an instant, he had successfully snatched the spear weapon. This made Lin Xu confident that he could fight the remaining bandits. Now one person came to see Lin Xu. He immediately reported to all his companions. While waiting for the bandits' help, this one dared to attack alone. The spear of Lin Xu is now engulfed in hot flames. Lin Xu then advances to attack. Seeing that skill, the person becomes afraid. The bandit wonders what kind of skill that is. In an instant, Lin Xu is able to kill him. Zhang Liang, who has just arrived at the location, is even more shocked. It's impossible. How can Lin Xu be so strong now? Zhang Liang and his remaining companions attack Lin Xu simultaneously. Lin Xu is now faced with three different skills, but Lin Xu still manages to hold on. The problem now is that his stamina is greatly depleted after using the previous skill. Now he can only use that skill once more. In addition, Lin Xiu's anger is still at 60%. Lin Xiu continues to hold on with all his might to withstand the barrage of attacks. He thinks he must kill Zhang Liang immediately. This is because Lin Xiu can still hold on. Clearly, the bandits are also surprised. There is only one possibility that Zhang Liang is thinking of. Surely Lin Xu has a skill to enhance his combat power. Zhang Liang is sure that the skill must have side effects. Soon, Lin Xu will reach his limit. So now they just have to wait and prevent Lin Xu from escaping again. Now the system notifies that Lin Xu's anger is full. Lin Xu attacks with charge strike again. Seeing the attack aimed at him, Zhang Liang is confident he can handle it just like the previous person. 
Zhang, who is panicking because the weapon made to withstand his attacks, is now shattered. Damn, the attack is so strong, he says. Lin Xiu says, now try to taste my spear attack. But unfortunately, the spirit of victory in front of him disappears immediately, because his spear cannot withstand the previous skill. Moreover, now there is a buff, and the skill rate has reached its time. Now he bows down weakly. Zhang Liang clearly feels that it seems the universe has determined his death. Suddenly, a laser attack saves Lin Xiu. Now the nurse who usually takes care of Lin Xiu has arrived. She said low-class adventurers like you dare to touch a student from the Shining Star. I'll count to three if you don't leave. I will slaughter all of you. When she saw the status of that nurse, her name was Xiao. She was at level four of martial artists. Initially, when she first met Lin Xiu, she thought she was just an ordinary person. Because of fear, they all ran away in a panic. Now Lin Xiu asked how Xiao could be here. She answered by saying that she was a doctor at the school. So she came here to heal the injured students. Now it's time to go back to the starting point. Now, at the starting point, the students have returned, and all their loot is being announced. The homeroom teacher is proud of his students because many of them have made rapid progress. But it feels like something is missing. He asked Yang Tian. Yang Tian replied that they were separated because a python attacked. When chased by Lin Xiu, they entered a dangerous area. Lin Xiu, who was still a beginner, entered the most dangerous zone here. Here, Zhang Yi started to boast that he was still trash. He's probably dead, he said. Yang Tian didn't accept this. The homeroom teacher stopped the two of them. It's almost night. They don't want to stay here overnight. That trash might already be dead. Suddenly a voice was heard. He said, whose mouth is that? And Lin Xiu's loud voice was heard. Lin Xiu displayed all of his loot. There were a total of 16 level 1 cores, 2 level 2 cores, and 3 level 3 cores. The class monitor was shocked to see that there were 3 level 3 monsters. Despite this, the haters still did not believe it. They thought it was impossible for trash like Lin Xiu to kill level 3 monsters. The class monitor even suggested that if Lin Xiu was cheating, why not cheat along as well? One level 3 core costs almost half a million. Can you afford to buy it? Therefore, the class monitor continued with the information and told everyone that after this, they could all rest at the inn. Furthermore, since they were not officially martial artists yet, they couldn't sell the items they obtained. Luckily, the inn owner agreed to help. Lin Xu was now at the inn, where the owner explained that he would buy each level 1 core for 1,000 aliens. Since Lin Xu had the most loot, he had to go last. It would take a long time for him. It might even cause a commotion. Everyone took turns suggesting to Lin Xu. The inn owner was impressed with Lin Xu's loot. The inn owner was willing to pay a high price for one level three core, buying it for 500,000 points. So with three cores, Lin Xu had earned one and a half million in total. Suddenly a student from another class who was unaware of the rules appeared. When Lin Xu used his analytic eye, it turned out that this person was a veteran martial artist. Proudly, he said that he had managed to get 10 level 1 cores and 2 level 2 cores. Arrogantly, he said, Listen, you will never be like me. You trash. Lin Xu approached him. Lin Xu was furious when she saw his arrogant behavior. Now they are exchanging blows. The wind blowing made the weaker students fall. Sun Chen is now panicking. His hand hurts. Lin Xu's punch is very strong. Sun Chen is now kicking, but sees Lin Xu dominating the fight. All his friends are just watching. Now he is using consecutive punches that can be avoided. Due to the numerous blows earlier, Lin Xu's anger is now at 90%. However, he can only dodge. The skill earlier was perfectly blocked by Lin Xu, surprising Sun Chen. Lin Xu's anger is now full, but he tells the system that he will not use it to fight weak people like him. His strength alone is more than enough. He intends to show off so that no one will underestimate him again. And now, Lin Xu twists Sung Chen's hand. After his classmate lost, the first-year students start to compete. In the midst of this tension, the inn owner says that Lin Xu's level 3 core transaction is complete. All the first-year students are shocked to hear about the level 3 core. Therefore, they are now afraid.
Lin Xu now starts to challenge back. Earlier he said he wanted revenge, here it is, he say. But the fight has to end because the class teacher has arrived. And finally, the dispute ends. Before leaving, Sung Chen challenges Lin Xu to compete again in the end of semester competition. All the students are amazed by Lin Xu now. The class teacher says that it is now time for them to test their fighting power again. The class offers who wants to be the first. When it's Zhang Yi's turn, it turns out he is a veteran martial artist with a total fighting power of 675. Therefore, the class teacher informs Zhang Yi. He can choose the cultivation path. Starting tomorrow, this cultivation path is very important for martial artists. In this universe, there is a lot of beneficial energy called origin. Martial artists can channel origin energy into their bodies through this cultivation path. And they can use that origin energy to strengthen their muscles or give more power to their entire body. Now the measurement process begins. And it is clear that Lin Xu is the strongest among them all. They are veteran martial artists with a combat power of 676, only one point difference from him. After the training session was over, the next day in the homeroom teacher's room, Lin Xu and Zhang Yi were being asked by the teacher, what weapon would they choose? The monsters above class 3 have very thick and resistant skin against various bullets, whether it be lead bullets, energy bullets, and others. None can penetrate it. Thanks to research, humans finally found a way. It was discovered that special metals from other planets could penetrate the monster's defense. That's why the teacher asked about the weapons. This is very important for martial artists. If they can combine skills with weapons, then the potential of martial artists can be maximized. When he chose the spear as a weapon, the homeroom teacher was surprised. Indeed, there is a saying that the spear is the strongest weapon, but mastering it is very difficult. Are you sure? said the homeroom teacher. He was sure because of Lin Xiu's determination. So the homeroom teacher gave Lin Xiu a recording card with information. With this card, Lin Xiu could get a guidebook for the basics of spear martial arts and its cultivation path as well. Before Lin Xiu left, the curious homeroom teacher asked, What is the reason for choosing the spear? Then he answered by saying, Do you know the top ten martial artists? None of them use a spear. After answering like that, Lin Xu immediately left. The homeroom teacher, realizing Lin Xu's intentions, was surprised. He did not expect Lin Xu to have such great ambitions. He wanted to be the strongest with his spear. Now, after getting the cultivation book, it was time for Lin Xu to find a weapon. Unfortunately, he was not yet an official martial artist, so he could only rely on his luck to buy items. Lin Xu was dissatisfied with the quality of the spears offered by the seller. They were all too light. It seemed like Lin Xu wasn't really interested in buying from the beginning. Clearly, the seller was annoyed. Then the seller said that if Lin Xu wanted a heavier spear, they would get one for them. Carrying an old box, the seller opened it. It turned out to contain a spear called Steel Soul. When Lin Xu tried it, it was the spear they had been looking for. How much is it? Lin Xu asked. The seller said that the spear was priced at one and a half million, but for Lin Xu, 1.2 million would be enough. Hearing the expensive price, Lin Xu was shocked, but they had no choice but to buy it. Using an ordinary spear wouldn't be able to withstand their skills. In their room, Lin Xu was testing the weapon for cultivation. They were surprised that their body didn't feel anything. That's why they wanted to check their stats in the system. After seeing it, they realized that their strength had increased by two points. They should have used skill points earlier to accelerate the growth of their attributes. Shortly after, a notification appeared. It was time for the monthly draw. Lin Xu could now use it once a month. Lin Xu received a free draw for the round. They hoped they wouldn't get another weapon because they had just bought one. Now the spin stopped right on the fast leveling package and a gift box appeared. While Lin Xu was opening his gift, it was like a vest. The system then asked if Lin Xu wanted to wear it. After Lin Xu put it on, the system started the activation process. Suddenly, the weight of the vest increased. Lin Xu fell down due to its heaviness. The total weight of the set of vests was up to 130 kilograms. Feeling annoyed by the system's trickery, 
Lin Xu now wanted to take it off, but immediately Lin Xu was shocked. The system informed Lin Xu that he couldn't take it off until the fast leveling up process was completed. If Lin Xu succeeded, he would receive 25 skill points directly to boost his morale. He had no choice but to get used to it, so he could go to school the next day. And the next day, he was like a zombie. He felt very tired. His body was trembling, but the fast leveling up process was still at 1,000, whereas his target was 10,000. With his current body condition, he would get angry even if he was just lightly tapped. He wanted to know who dared to tap him earlier. It turned out that the one who tapped him was Ye Shuang Er, who was Lin Xu's neighbor. She was here because she was looking around the academy. She would graduate soon and wanted to find a suitable academy for herself. Not long after, someone suddenly challenged him, but now he was belittling Lin Xu, the person challenged to fight. Because his friend's behavior had gone too far, Ye Shuang Er wanted to replace Lin Xu to fight him. Tang Ping then said, I can't bear to fight you, Shuang Er. And to Lin Xu, are you afraid to fight me? Then he replied, if you really want to fight, then I will indulge you, said Lin Xu. Even though Lin Xu was now wearing a very heavy vest, Lin Xu still believed that he could handle fighting that kid. Tang Ping then stepped forward and kicked Lin Xu. A kick like that was clearly easy for Lin Xu to block. After that, Tang Ping used his floating skill. This time, Tang Ping's attack smoothly entered Lin Xiu's body. All of this was because of this damn vest, so his chances decreased and Lin Xiu didn't have time to dodge. Seeing the successful attack, Tang Ping's followers must have started to believe that Tang Ping could defeat the trash, Lin Xiu. But not with a loud voice. He knew Lin Xiu wouldn't lose. Now Tang Ping, who wanted to show off in front of Shuang Er, unleashed all of his abilities. He attacked but Lin Xu could still withstand his full blows. However, Lin Xu had already gripped his hand. Now he said you were ready to kill earlier. So now you must also be prepared if you are going to be killed. And to finish it off, Lin Xu kicked Tang Ping right in the face. Tang Ping said, I will finish you. Hearing this, Lin Xu faced him, but he did not know that Tang Tian was running towards him. Tang Tian quickly struck Lin Xu from behind. He told Lin Xu that if he had broken his arm, he would retaliate. Unfortunate for Lin Xu. He fell down again. Lin Xu, who was helpless, now had to be protected by Shuang Er. But Tang Tian didn't care if he had to hit a woman. When the blow was about to hit Shuang Er, he quickly replaced her. So the injury suffered by Lin Xu became worse. He lay weak. Not only that, Tang Tian continued to teach Lin Xu now. Now when he wanted to finish off Lin Xu, the class monitor came to stop him. Tang Tian said he just wanted revenge. His younger brother's arm was broken by Lin Xu here. Shuang Er defended Lin Xu, who was wronged first, Tang Ping. Tang Ping because he himself wanted to kill Lin Xu. Since it has come to this, Tang Tian threatened Shuang Er. You better be careful. Take care of your life, he said. Lin Xu now challenged Tang Tian to a three-day martial arts duel. The class monitor warned Lin Xu, but Lin Xu didn't care. Tang Tian agreed to fight against trash like him. He said he would make Lin Xu miserable in front of the whole school. Time has passed. Now the entire Shining Star Academy knows the news that the trash from Class 29 wants to challenge the 100th rank Tang Tian in a martial arts duel. Most people are already pessimistic about Lin Xu. It's just throwing away his life. Now in the infirmary, Lin Xu is being treated. Then the doctor advised Lin Xu to be more careful in his actions. The person who offended Lin Xu comes from an influential family. But because Lin Xu is still stubborn, Xiao gave something to Lin Xu. It turns out to be the skill card Shattering Fist. This is very expensive. Is the teacher sure to give this for free to Lin Xu? He said yes, taking this skill from the library because it has too many risks. No one wants to take it to prevent the risks now giving a prescription from his family with this. Lin Xu should find it easy to master that skill. And now, after a few days of practice, Lin Xu can finally master the skill 100 Crack Fist. Thanks to his hard training, he leveled up. The problem is, even though he is now starting to get used to this vest, the development process is still lacking. Well, even though it's a bit lacking, Lin Xu may only be able to use 80% of his potential. Tomorrow is the day when the martial arts duel begins. 
and the next day, the arena is already crowded with people watching Lin Xiu's match against Tang Tian. Begins with the start of their fight. Tang Tian advances with his skills, but Lin Xiu's neck is still scratched. He says, you see, you won't be able to withstand my attacks. He tells him to surrender. And then Tang Tian attacks again. Faced with continuous slashes, Lin Xiu is overwhelmed. His clothes are now in tatters. His blood is flowing everywhere. But Lin Xu's eyes remain bright. He is still able to fight. Tian, who sees this, feels sorry for him. Zhang Yi, who is beside him, says, Don't worry, even though it looks like that, Tang Tian's attacks have not yet inflicted a fatal wound on Lin Xu. Zhang Yi is right. Almost all of his attacks can be blocked by Lin Xu, and slowly he is unable to injure Lin Xu even when using his sword. Tang Tian uses his skill, Blessing Strike. Seeing this seemingly powerful skill, Lin Xu feels that it is impossible for him to withstand it. And to make matters worse, his anger is not yet fully ignited. He has no choice but to counter that skill with his own skill, Thousand Birds. The two attacks collide with great force, but he manages to injure Tang Tian. Now everyone near Lin Xu is clearly worried about his condition. Now the system notifies that Lin Xu's fast leveling up process is complete and Lin Xu has gained 25 skill points. Not only that, Lin Xu's anger is now at 100%. He begins to distribute his skill points. Then, because his jacket is torn, Lin Xu takes it off so everyone can see that he is wearing a vest. The class monitor realizes that the vest is a weight. He did not expect Lin Xu to fight so well, especially while wearing such a weight. Now Lin Xu starts to take off all his vests. When Lin Xu drops them, the arena floor shatters. Lin Xu is now ready to start a real fight. Unwilling to be underestimated, he immediately steps forward. When he feels he is about to be attacked, Lin Xu quickly disappears. Now Tang Tian's sword begins to crack. As he jumps, he combines his charge strike with his Thousand Birds tribute. When Tang Tian swings his attack, he immediately vanishes defeated. His skill is instantly destroyed. He then reveals his secret weapon. He drinks a potion, and, in an instant, his body is filled with power. Tang Tian advanced, and Lin Xu responded. Damn, Lin Xu's spear was caught. Now, his end was near. He widened his spear as well. Die, he said. Faced with the spear swiftly coming towards him, Lin Xu used his new skill, Hundred Cracking Fist. Thanks to that, he was thrown back. Lin Xu now saw the bottle that Tang Tian drank from. The class teacher did not expect that he would have to resort to drinking it to win. It was a drug that could instantly increase physical strength but had many side effects. It could even leave the drinker disabled for life. Because Tang Tian used the forbidden drug, the class teacher was going to stop the match. But Tang Tian's class teacher refused because there were no rules against it. So the match continued. It turned out that only class teacher 5 was honest. The others seemed afraid because the head of the Tang family was watching the match. Also, Tang Tian, he was the shareholder in the Shining Star Academy. Lin Xu had to be beaten up again. Now Tang Tian started to become arrogant again. He didn't know that Lin Xu still had an ace up his sleeve. Now, they were exchanging blows. Their fight was intense. All the spectators were clearly amazed. Now Lin Xu could still keep up with Tang Tian who was using his skills. But unfortunately he couldn't finish off this trash. Now Tang Tian used his skill again. Now he dodged. Then Lin Xiu's punch hit hard. Initially Tang Tian was confident because his skin was now impenetrable. Now he had to feel the consequences of Lin Xiu's hundred shattering fist skill. Attacking until the inside, Tang Tian bowed his head. In this situation, Lin Xiu was the winner. However, Tang Tian still refuses to accept that he will advance again now, but unfortunately, when Lin Xu wanted to kill him, there is now an intruder. Lin Xu is thrown off balance. Tang Mu Bai intervenes in the fight. Here, Lin Xu's class guardian says that he asks Tang Mu Bai to respect the rules of the duel, and as a result, Lin Xu is declared the winner. Nevertheless, now Lin Xu must be careful in marking him from now on, and that's the end of the match. All the spectators can't believe that Lin Xu could really win. They cheer and shout Lin Xu's name. The next day after the fight with Tang Tian, now the door of Lin Xu's room is knocked on by the class guardian. 
After being asked by the class guardian what the purpose and intention of coming there is, Lin Xu says that after yesterday's duel, he is still tired. The class guardian explains that he has good news and bad news. The teacher announced the unfortunate news that Lin Xu has finally been punished. According to the class teacher's explanation, Lin Xu offended the Tang family, causing them to feel insulted. They used the excuse that Lin Xu had bullied Tang Ping. As a result, the Tang family pressured the academy to punish Lin Xu. Upon hearing this, it clearly made Lin Xu emotional. The class teacher stated that Lin Xiu must join the Stella City Army to participate in the annual cleansing operation at the Light Fortress. The Light Fortress is a military base that was affected by a nuclear incident, causing the soldiers there to mutate. The number of mutations continues to increase, posing a threat to the safety of the nearby residents. Therefore, every year the Alliance forms a force and carries out cleansing operations there. Upon hearing this, Lin Xu couldn't help but think about the zombies and monsters that must be quite powerful there. And he sensed the scent of experience points, so he decided to participate in the cleansing of the Light Fortress. Initially, the class teacher forbade him, but because Lin Xu had made up his mind, now he asks about the good news. The good news is that Lin Xu has officially become rank 100 in the academy. This martial arts card is a solid skill achievement. The class teacher explained that this skill was discovered by the Spear Martial Arts Pioneer. Before his death, he left behind several tutorial skill cards, but only a few were able to master them. Before leaving, the class teacher advised him to come back alive because he knew he was a genius full of potential. That night, due to Lin Xu's clothes being damaged during the fight against Tang Tian, she had to buy new clothes again. On the way, she was suddenly confronted. A group of people approached Lin Xu. Lin Xu was surprised by them. They were all level one martial artists. Moreover, this place was densely populated. How dare they try to kill me? And now the bald one immediately attacked Lin Xu. It was easy for a moment to break the bald one's arm and to finish him off. Then, seeing his friend die tragically, all those people wanted to gang up on Lin Xu. But Lin Xu could clearly slaughter those who approached. Now there were only two people left. Out of fear, they chose to flee. Lin Xu assumed that surely the Tang family was behind all this. Lin Xu's suspicion turned out to be correct. Now Mrs. Tang was furious because the lackey she sent was actually slaughtered by Lin Xu. Shortly after, the angry Tang Mu Bai arrived and ordered those people to leave. Now he was grumbling about why his wife was attempting murder in the middle of the city. Fortunately. Tang Mu Bai had sent people to clean up the bodies there. Otherwise, the Tang family's name would have been tarnished even further. Here, his wife said she wanted revenge on Lin Xu. Because of her, their children were suffering. Tang Mu Bai understood his wife's feelings, and he said he had taken care of everything. So, relax. He explained that he had forced the academy to send Lin Xu to the Fortress of Light. There, the death rate was 70%. Now Lin Xu has joined the cleaning force. Currently, Captain Qin Chiang is taking attendance of his troops participating in the cleaning operation. Despite repeatedly checking the information, the system is still unable to analyze it. So, it can be said that Qin Chiang is strong. One of the people there is named Jin Hai. You're in the wrong place. This is not a place to fool around, he said. Hearing that, his accomplices laughed. Because they were being noisy, Qin Chiang punished Jin Hai and his friends with push-ups. Then Qin Chiang gave a task to Lin Xiu. Although Lin Xiu is still a student, since joining, she will be treated the same as the others. So, Lin Xiu must be prepared for the possibility of falling in the battlefield. After that, inside the aircraft, all the soldiers were seen training, except for Lin Xiu who was sitting. And shortly after, someone approached Lin Xiu. It was Li Yi. He is an alumnus of the Shining Stars. He was surprised how Lin Xu could be sent to such a dangerous place they are heading to now. Lin Xu explained that it was all because of the Academy Council. Since he had attended school there, Li Yi already knew the answer. Lin Xu must have offended someone important. Suddenly, Jin Hai threw a bottle at Lin Xu. He said, Li Yi, instead of training, you're chatting with that kid. 
Now he even dared to touch Lin Xu's box. It was clear that Lin Xu had run out of patience. They were about to take the box from Lin Xu, but she objected. Then Lin Xu opened the box with his foot. Now Lin Xu's spear came out. Now Lin Xu's spear was pointing straight at Jin Hai. Only this much. A level one martial artist was underestimated by Lin Xu. It's clear that Jin Hai is angry. Plus, Lin Xu keeps provoking him. If you're all trash, then I'll get even angrier. Go die, he said, full of emotions, but he fell weakly. After falling, Jin Hai immediately got up and attacked again, but unfortunately the fight had to stop because Qin Chang had arrived. All of his assistants were shocked that Lin Xu managed to defeat Jin Hai in just one move. Therefore, now Qin Chang is lecturing him. How could a level one martial artist lose to a student? And for Lin Xu, he suggested not wasting energy on things like this. With a serious face, Qin Chiang added, It's better to focus. How will you survive in the future? Time passed by. Now the troops arrived at the Fortress of Light. The troops were now divided according to squad leaders. Lin Xu was in the same group as Jin Hai. Soon enough, the zombies finally appeared. With his two axes, Jin Hai intended to show off. But the zombie quickly reached his face. Luckily, Lin Xu's spear quickly came to the rescue. Lin Xu slaughtered every approaching zombie. The only thing on Lin Xu's mind was the XP he needed to collect. Seeing Lin Xu's fierceness, the other members were amazed. Is it true that Lin Xu is still a high school student? Therefore, the squad leader now ordered everyone to join in the attack as well. Slowly, they began to dominate the battle. But suddenly, the zombies started screaming, calling for reinforcements. That's why Lin Xu informed the squad leader. But it was too late. Now the zombies had surrounded them. Then he gave the command to hold their position and not panic. And they would start to utilize the distance. Under the squad leader's guidance, all the soldiers had their rifles ready. They began to rain bullets on the zombies. Thanks to this hunt, he was now level 12. In addition, he had reached a combat power of 800, rising from a veteran martial artist to a level 1 martial artist. Now, because the zombies were getting closer, the squad leader took command to engage in close combat. After the squad leader skillfully opened the marshal's attack, the soldiers were ready to advance. Lin Xu had been breaking through all along. All the XP would be his. Since the zombies seemed endless, the squad leader ordered a retreat. There was a good building for them to defend. Now all the troops entered one by one. Now only the squad leader and Lin Xu remained. But when the squad leader told Lin Xu to retreat, Lin Xu pushed him instead. What was he doing? But he was not the type of man to let a girl protect him. Then, with his martial skill, Thousand Birds, he burned all the approaching zombies. After that, Lin Xu entered. But due to the overwhelming number of zombies, the door that was holding them back started to break and eventually gave way. Now, everyone started to ascend to the next floor. They entered through the gap in the bars. Thanks to that, the zombies couldn't get in. For the time being, they were safe. At least the bars could hold them temporarily. Afterwards, they went up to the next floor. They found a corpse wrapped in spider webs. And suddenly, Li Yi felt something crawling on his back. Fortunately, Jin Hai reacted quickly. It turned out that what was clinging to him was a spider monster. Unfortunately, it wasn't just one. There were many of them. Now, above them, they immediately ran to the third floor. But unfortunately, in front of them, there were also many spiders ready to attack. A fight was inevitable. They continued to ascend while crashing into all the attacking spiders. Lin Xu said, It seems like we are now on the fourth floor. If we keep going up, we will reach the roof. That's why Lin Xu immediately broke through. He broke through all the spiders. Then he kicked the door to open the way. After everyone had exited, the door was immediately closed. Because for the time being, the situation was safe. The team leader then allowed everyone to rest first. Upon this building, Lin Xu was able to observe the situation below, filled with zombies. Furthermore, now the hunting dogs have also joined. They began to prey on the zombies. Seeing this, she wondered why the dogs were fighting the zombies. Then the team leader said that the zombies below might be busy with the dogs. This was their chance to slowly escape. They descended. 
As quietly as possible, they moved slowly. When there was an opportunity, they would quickly take care of the zombies. And so, now they had escaped. But unfortunately, as they were about to move away, the dogs realized their presence. After finishing off the dogs, now it was time to fight their boss. The hunting dog had sharp level 3 fangs. Its combat power was 850 points. In the blink of an eye, it was in front of a warrior. Luckily, he was able to dodge, but when he attacked, his sword bent. The dog's skin was very tough. Then the man's hand was bitten off, and quickly the team leader subdued it with a slice of water. Unfortunately, in an instant, the dog's boss was already in front of the team leader. Luckily, Lin Xu was still there. Now Lin Xu began to stab the dog, injuring it. Everyone thought Lin Xu had won, but it wasn't that easy, because the system notification had not appeared yet. With a body full of wounds, the dog still persisted. Now its eyes stared sharply at Lin Xu. It attacked. Due to the danger, Lin Xu instructed everyone to step aside, but Lin Xu was instead thrown against the wall. Lin Xu tried to avoid it, but still got hit. Luckily, the system warned him earlier. Otherwise, he could have been in danger. The dog started barking. It jumped towards Lin Xu. Since it had come to this, Lin Xu used thousand birds. A big explosion occurred from the clash of attacks, but Lin Xu fell down. Fortunately, he managed to defeat the dog and gained 8,000 XP. Even though his body was full of wounds, it was okay because he got a lot of XP. Before he could celebrate his victory, a terrifying sound was heard. The leader of the zombies appeared. The zombie tore off the head of the dog to take its core and immediately ate it. The zombie was now in the process of evolving into a level 3 zombie leader. It was very dangerous. Lin Xu realized they had to kill it before the evolution was complete. But the worst part was that they were now surrounded. The only way to break the siege was to kill the leader. If they let it evolve, their fate would be sealed. Lin Xu stepped forward to stab the zombie. However, his stab was unsuccessful. The zombie's skin was tougher than the dog's. Moreover, the other zombie started to interfere. With no other choice, he had to use his new skill card, Torrential Blossom. In the midst of the battle, he focused on cultivating his new skill. Just before the zombies could grab him, he used his skill. In an instant, the approaching danger was eliminated. In this instance, Lin Xu was only able to unleash three direct attacks, but this was still not enough. He kept trying and trying. Seeing Lin Xu so crazy in life and death situations, the team leader ordered everyone to gather immediately. Don't be defeated by Lin Xu. Thanks to that, the spirit of the soldiers rose to pierce the moon. Now Lin Xu is clearing everything nearby. Only the leader remains. Now it's your turn, said Lin Xu. He advanced using his torrential blossom. Lin Xu showered the zombie leader with continuous stabs. Unfortunately, this bastard had finished evolving. His skin is now even tougher. Lin Xu's spear cannot penetrate it. They exchanged attacks. Then rage was activated with the torrential blossom influenced by rage. Finally, Lin Xu was able to slowly penetrate the defense of the zombie leader. Now Lin Xu feels that his body is very easy to control. He feels as if the spear is part of his body. Now Lin Xu is using his ultimate technique. Thanks to that, the potential of Lin Xiu's blossom is now able to severely injure the zombie leader. And finally, Lin Xu managed to defeat him and immediately leveled up to 13. He put all his XP into strength attributes, and now it's time to finish off the rest in an instant. Finally, they were able to flatten all the zombies here. Lin Xu is now panting. The team leader is worried about him. He thought Lin Xu was using illegal drugs, but Lin Xu said to the team leader to relax. It was just the effect of the skill, not the influence of drugs. Lin Xu was not an ordinary person. Lin Xu also did not know what happened, but suddenly he could do that. Captain Chui Wan assumed that it might be the ultimate skill. The ultimate skill is a term used to utilize skills to their highest potential. Now they can rest peacefully. That night on the rooftop, they were enjoying grilled meat. Here, Lin Xu asked Captain Chui Wan if he knew about the Divine City. Captain Chui Wan explained that it was the highest martial arts institute. Every student who studied there was a genius. 
To even enter there, a student must have at least a level 2 martial arts skill. Hearing that, Lin Xu was confident that with the help of the system, he would definitely surpass Luo Yue. Now, the Lin Xu team continues their exploration. Shortly after, Lin Xu informs Captain Chui Wen. The captain looks at it. It turns out that there are now zombies crawling around, waiting for prey to devour. Due to their slow movements here, Jin Hai wants to shoot them. Lin Xu forbids him from shooting. But one bullet has already been fired. It didn't hit the zombie. Jin Hai is puzzled. Lin Xu explains that the zombies are actually agile. They appear slow to lure their prey closer. And sure enough, after the shot, the zombie quickly descends. The captain gives the command for all troops to prepare immediately. The zombies start running. And now the troops are ready, shooting at the approaching zombies. Due to the close distance, they switch to close combat. The captain uses his air slice during the battle. The zombies on top start descending and attacking. One of the troops gets bitten. Due to the unfavorable battlefield, Lin Xu suggests that they retreat and find an open area. It's difficult to fight here because the zombies can crawl and dive freely. That's why everyone is now retreating. Unfortunately, when they reach an open area, the zombies are already prepared to surround them. Battle is inevitable, just as Lin Xu predicted. They are now able to handle the zombies. Then, when Lin Xu is off guard, suddenly there is a slash aimed at him. Lin Xu, who is aware, immediately dodges it. He counterattacks, but now his attack can be blocked. It turns out that the person who attacked earlier is a contract killer. He is a level 3 martial artist. He doesn't need to know the names of those who will die. He is known as the Shadow Without a Trace. And now this killer has been joined by all the Alliance soldiers. The killer casually says, Do not interfere if you still want to live. The contract killer immediately strikes. The strike was blocked by the captain with his water slice. But due to the difference in strength, Captain Shu's defense was breached. Now everyone moves forward together. The killer then uses his high-speed swirl skill. All soldiers now cannot approach because they do not want to involve their comrades. Therefore, the killer is now chasing Lin Xu. Because Lin Xu is in danger, Captain Xu says they must go there too. But Jin Hai says that Lin Xu provoked that person earlier because Lin Xu didn't want to involve the captain. But the captain doesn't care. Anyway, whoever dares to touch their alliance forces must face the consequences. Meanwhile, the killer has successfully chased Lin Xu. Who said Lin Xu would run away? It's precisely because no one is bothering them that they can now fight calmly. Of course, with your defeat as the ending, Lin Xu confidently said. Hearing that, the killer became angry. He told her that she would be the one to die later. While avoiding Lin Xu's thrust, this killer was surprised. It was actually very fast. And unfortunately, when Lin Xu slashed again, this killer was still able to dodge it. The killer was immediately incredulous. The killing aura that avoided Lin Xu made him shudder. While Lin Xu dodged and dodged again, unfortunately his attacks could also be avoided. But that was not enough. The killer then leaped to attack with his abilities. That skill was the same as the potential blossom. He would show his true power. The two skills clashed. The exchange of attacks occurred again. Lin Xu's torrential blossom was avoided. Then the killer attacked until he was cornered against the wall. The killer was very confident. You're finished, kid, he said with an evil smile. But Lin Xu was not afraid. He countered now. When the killer looked at his body, he saw bloodstains. He fell into Lin Xu's trap. From hunting zombies, he already knew that the killer was watching him. That's why Lin Xu had only used Torrential Blossom four times so far, even though now he could use it five times. His last attack successfully entered, gaining XP and leveling up to 14 now. Fortunately, all his companions had arrived. Since Lin Xu had no more strength left, he collapsed. And now, on the rooftop, he finally regained consciousness from his fainting spell. Upon his exit, he was warmly greeted by the captain. Lin Xu expressed his gratitude for their willingness to rescue him. Due to Lin Xu's injury, the captain decided to stay overnight. After that, Lin Xu and the rest of the troops were able to continue their exploration. And now, a month has passed. 
Lin Xu and his comrades have just finished clearing out the zombies. The captain said that all of this was thanks to Lin Xu, as it would have been difficult for them to survive without him. Lin Xu, who was initially underestimated, is now warmly welcomed by everyone. In the midst of their joy, a sudden chaotic party arrived. When Lin Xu saw the party, he noticed that most of them were ranked as level one martial artists. But there was one strong individual, Zhao Yueyu. He was a level three martial artist. Lin Xu informed the captain about the presence of a level three among the party. He slowly approached Lin Xu, unsheathing his sword, and said, This child belongs to me. The rest is for you. The captain was very familiar with Zhao Yuyu because he was famous in this area. He was known as the Lone Wolf. The captain had fought him before, but his comrades ended up being slaughtered. The captain still held a grudge, so now he only wanted to fight against zombies, but Zhao Yuyu was an exception. Lin Xu knew that Zhao Yuyu was also sent by the Tang family, just like the assassin he defeated earlier. Without much hesitation, Lin Xu was fortunate enough to dodge as he pretended to be asleep. The battle broke out. Lin Xu attacked with his torrential blossoms, but this time Zhao Yuyu effortlessly blocked all the stabs. You brat, he said. You won't be able to hurt me unless you can perform ten stabs per second. It seems I will show you the true essence of a martial artist. Lin Xu was forced to use his rage after being attacked, causing Aranya to overflow with emotions. His teammates were shocked and worried about Lin Xu. Despite this, Lin Xu managed to withstand the attack and even successfully defended against it. He never expected that he would struggle to hold off the attacks from this opponent, even with his rage. However, now that all the attacks were being blocked by Lin Xu, his teammates were relieved. It turns out that Lin Xu is quite capable. Zhao Yueyu is now ready with his skills. The power of that skill is immense. Even Lin Xu's spear used to withstand it suffered severe damage. However, Zhao Yueyu continues to attack relentlessly. With each strike, Zhao Yueyu advances. Although Lin Xu wanted to keep his secret technique hidden, there is no choice in this situation. Lin Xu then uses Torrential Blossom along with Thousand Birds. Unfortunately, the previous attack was not enough to defeat Zhao Yueyu. In fact, now he is once again pushed back. He acknowledges Lin Xu's abilities. Surprisingly, each of Zhao's strikes is able to absorb the strength of the opponent's martial arts skill, making him stronger. Due to the strength of Lin Xu's last attack, it can be predicted that Zhao Yueyu's next strike will be extremely powerful. Seeing the strike, Lin Xiu knows that the skill is very dangerous. Will he die here? However, Lin Xiu refuses to give up hope. Suddenly, the mysterious feeling he experienced when fighting zombies emerges. A strange feeling where Lin Xiu feels as if the spear is now a part of his body. What could trigger this feeling? Is it because he is on the brink of death, or because Lin Xiu activated his rage? Therefore, Lin Xu is no longer afraid. It's completely different now. He will now show his true power. He never expected to lose, especially since Lin Xu managed to use his ultimate technique now. He gains a lot of experience points, and Lin Xu reaches level 15. Unfortunately, due to exerting all his energy and the side effects of the red skill, he faints now. Upon regaining consciousness inside the Lin Xu aircraft, Lin Xu noticed that the captain was already by her side, waiting. The captain explained that they were on their way back. Not forgetting, the captain also handed Lin Xu a card containing three million alien coins as a reward for helping to eliminate the hitman and the zombie. Unable to fix her spear here, Lin Xu asked how she could repay the captain's kindness. The captain then began to tease Lin Xu. However, since Lin Xu was a strong-willed young man of faith, it had no effect on him. Lin Xu then asked what the date was. The captain replied that it was already the 12th. As today was the day when the final semester battle began, the captain told Lin Xu to stay calm. It was still early morning. Lin Xu would surely arrive at the Shining Star Academy on time. Now, at the military airport of the Shining Star Academy, all the Alliance soldiers had arrived. Commander Qin Chiang expressed his appreciation to each of his troops. Everyone would be awarded a star.
Lin Xu never expected to receive that medal. Because that medal provided many extraordinary benefits, even the authorities were said to not dare to mess with someone who possessed it. Now, as Lin Xu faced Commander Qin Qiang, who said that Lin Xu's performance was truly extraordinary. Because of Lin Xu, the survival rate of Lin Xu's team was the highest in this operation. Moreover, Lin Xu had also successfully killed a level 3 monster and two criminals single-handedly. All of Lin Xiu's achievements were highly appreciated by the military. Hearing the praise, the other troops outside of Lin Xiu's team couldn't believe it. Lin Xiu, who was a high school student, was able to achieve such accomplishments. Immediately, they offered Lin Xiu to join the military if Lin Xiu wanted to. Lin Xiu could directly be promoted to a two-star major general, but Lin Xiu refused politely. Lin Xiu reasoned that they still wanted to focus on their education. They laughed. They forgot that Lin Xu was still a student. So they said that if Lin Xu graduated from college, they could join the military. The captain smiled from afar. Even though they were still a school student, they were very strong. The captain was determined to make Lin Xu theirs. The captain came over and hugged Lin Xu as a farewell.